Hello and welcome to another episode of Ken's Training. Today's training is a real quick and easy simple one uh, but there's a couple of steps that I wanted to go through. Uh, what I have is I've got a natural gas line behind me uh, that is just opened uh, just with the valve and I just want to put uh, a plug on it. So here's the plug that I have right here, half inch brass plug. It's a brass valve and it's a natural gas line. So the things that I want to explain is that number one, if it, it's a it's a brass valve, so uh, you don't want to use a black iron plug or plastic plug. You want to use a brass plug. Also, on your tape, because it's a natural gas line, I'm going to use this tape, which is yellow in color. The standard plumber's tape comes in a roll that looks like this, and it's. Uh, white in color, but it's not rated or used for natural gas lines. So these are just a couple of illustrations that I want to go. I'll go ahead and show you the job, but uh, I just want to let you know that if you're working with natural gas and you're going to use uh, Teflon tape, you got to use the yellow, which is rated for gas. It actually, if you has writing right here on it, you can read all the ratings: gasoline, natural gas, propane, and so forth. Um, okay, so I'll get right to it. Okay, here's the gas line right here, and I'm just going to go ahead and put on some safety glasses. I've got some gloves on. Now, when you want to remove this portion here, you don't want to just put your wrench on it and just remove it in case this all starts unthreading. So you want to use a double wrench technique. So I'm going to hold the valve itself and now loosen this fitting right here. This is called the double wrench technique. Whenever you don't want to disturb any other threaded fittings, this is the way you want to do it. Okay, now this is the threaded um, cap or plug I want to put in there. So what I'm going to do is take this and then throw this and wrap this around a couple of times. The way that you wrap this has to be the correct direction. Now you'll notice the way that I'm breaking it, I'm breaking it this way. And when I screw it in, it screws in this way. So if I was to put this on backwards, as I were to thread this in, it would unravel. But because I put it on the proper way, it's staying on tight and not unraveling. Now I'm going to hold my uh, adjustable wrench like that, while uh, my channel lock rather, I'm going to hold the valve and then go ahead and tighten down on the plug. shouldn't have to be superman tight. I'll do a test and that's totally good. I'll leave that in the closed position and that is basically it. So that's pretty much the video. I just wanted to you know, show you that little quick demonstration on how to properly cap a natural gas.